What's up guys, it's Bones and it's time for a beer review. Today's beer is Founders CBS 2017. So if you guys don't know much about Founders, they have a cool barrel aging process where they take their beers and they age them in caves like 100 feet underground where you have to like ride an elevator down. Looks pretty cool. I've never actually got to see the facility. It's in Michigan. Hopefully I can get that on my bucket list at one point in my life to go say I saw that because really rad facility, cool concept. If you guys ever have the opportunity to, to go check it out and then tell me about it because I wanna go there. I've had plenty of Founders beers before. My first kind of real barrel aging beer that I've had from them was KBS, which is Kentucky Breakfast Stout. This is CBS, which stands for Canadian Breakfast Stout. It's a big stout that's brewed with coffee and chocolate, but the clincher here is it's aged in maple syrup barrels. And it's a bigger beer. Now there was a decent head when I poured this on here. I got mine at Tap at Jail Beers and I got a crawler of it at home, but this is my own personal bottle just so I can show you guys uh, what it is that I'm actually drinking because it's a lot more beautiful to look at this bottle than it is to look at a crowler with a sticker on it. So this beer came out in 2017 for the first time for distribution in my area. I got my hands on a couple bottles of it. Uh, it's not a cheap beer by any means at about 25, 26 bucks a bottle. It's a little expensive, uh, not for the faint of heart, but for beer guy or girl, I mean, you definitely probably don't want to try to get your hands on this. They've only put this out like one other time, I think. I can't remember what year it was. It was before I got into the whole beer game. So take a look online, see when it is. Uh, but this is the first year they really had distribution. They put out like a keg, I guess, at 1.2 uh, that was like 2014 or something like that where they just did keg release and not the bottle. So uh, like I said, I'm drinking this out of keg into a crawler that I had set in my fridge for like two weeks. But enough of this, guys. Let's dive in this. Let's see what we can get a nose off it. I get that maple syrup off it. It's not super huge and prominent, but I definitely get some maple syrup off it. I get some of the malts, uh, the coffee, but it's not like a bitter scent off the coffee. It's just kind of like a nice aromatic uh, feel to it. Uh, I get a little bit of bourbon, but not like super boozy where like it really hurts like the nostrils when you're breathing it in. The lacing on the glass has been really nice on this. It, it lingers, I uh, still have a head to it. Not overly carbonated, but, but feels nice. I'm ready to drink some of this. Let's give it a taste. It's really soft, really light on the mouth. Super sweet though. I almost get some more of like, like Imperial Porter than a stout just because of the really softness to it. It's sweet, it has a slight burn, but it's really, for this big of a beer, 11.7%. You can tell it's a big beer, but it's not gonna destroy your palate. I get some of the maple in there, I get the coffee, but it's not like a super bitter coffee. It's a nice, nice beer. I wish I could compare it to previous years because I know some people have said that like the previous years were better, you know, like back in the day, it was like 2011 or something like that. And then the 2014, like the mini keg release they did. But I mean, I don't, I can't compare that because I haven't had it, but this is a, a really nice beer. It's almost a little too sweet right off the get go. I think if cellared for a few months to a year, I think this will really stand out nicely. Uh, you're definitely probably gonna lose the coffee flavor, which I don't mind the coffee flavor. It's really nice, it's not over the top. A lot of times you can get these big Imperial Stouts where it's super coffee forward. And that's great if that's your intention, but if you just want it to pair well with the other flavors you have in the barrel, then this is a nice balance to it. Pretty tasty beer. I'm gonna give it a thumbs up. It's a great beer. The only thing I could see is the price is a little high and that might detract a bunch of people, which this is a great beer, don't get me wrong. But at the price, it's gonna scare a lot of people away. Not me personally, but at $25, $26 a bottle, you're gonna feel it. You get the warming flavor afterwards, but it's it's so soft, like silky mouth feel. If you like maple syrup and you like coffee, this is a banger for you. You're gonna enjoy it. I think this would be a great beer with some breakfast food as a side. Now I have an idea for future. Solid beer, guys. If you have the opportunity to try it, do it. Get yourself a bottle. I think it's kind of limited and pretty hard to get yourself one. So if you find one, maybe you should just get it because it's relatively pretty rare. But anyway, thanks for watching my video, guys. If you haven't already, subscribe to my channel, smash that like button, and until next time, I'll catch you guys in the next beer review.